All right, so the purpose of this short video is to help you learn how to solve problems like this where you're given beginning and ending balances off the balance sheet, some changes during the year, and you solve for some unknown information. What I found to be most helpful for students is to start with a basic balance sheet equation. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. And then for this particular problem, you need to pay attention that equity is made up of contributed capital, the contributed equity, and retained earnings because they don't give us total equity, they give us only one piece, which is that piece. Okay, so uh, we're going to start with the beginning of the year numbers, which are given, end of the year numbers, we have our change for each of these areas, and then, you are going to break this out into two pieces, retained earnings is going to be made up of your net income, the change in retainers will be made up of your net income, minus minus your dividends, okay, minus dividends, and net income is made up of revenues minus expenses. Okay, and what we're looking for is actually this number right there, so keep that in mind. All right, with that in mind, let's go ahead and put in the known information. I'll use a different color for that. Okay, my known information on assets are 40,000 beginning and 60,000 end which means assets increased by 20,000. So that means these need to have increased by a total of 20,000. Let's put them in and see if that is true. 20,000 and capital uh, ending is 35,000. Done, done. And this went up by 15,000. Okay, good. Now they'll only give us part of the equity, which is a contributed equity, 15,000 at the beginning, 16,000 at the end, so this went up by one. So mathematically, um, this is 16. This can only be four. Retained earnings change can only be four. Okay? Well, 20 plus 15 is 35, so this has to be five. So 5, this would have to be 9. Let's just prove that out. 16 plus 9, 24. 16 plus 9, sorry, 16 plus 9 is 25, plus 35 is 60. Okay, so you see that the math works. It works down vertically and it works horizontally. This all together adds up to 20. Okay, now that we have that, then we can start working our way down because we want to figure out what revenues are. We'll put in, uh, okay, so we'll, we'll just solve for this. So now we know the given is 700 in dividends and the given expenses are 9,000. I'm going to change the color here. Okay, so we solved for these guys, right, because they weren't given. We solved for these guys because they weren't given. We're going to keep working it down. 4,000 minus 700, sorry, something minus 700 is 4,000, so that would have to be 4,700. 4,700 minus 700 equals 4,000. Good. Working our way down. Something minus 9,000 equals 4,700. So that something would have to be 13,700 minus 9,000, and that is your answer. So the way to solve problems like this is get your basic format down, right? Get this part down. Get this flow down, and then put in the knowns, right? Put in all the known information, and then you see there's simple A plus B equals C kind of problems, and you solve for the unknowns, right? And you just work your way down. That's how you solve these problems. I'm sure you can put in uh, your own numbers to solve a similar problem. Sometimes we'll give you total equity beginning and ending. Sometimes we only give you part of equity beginning and ending. So in this case, we didn't give you the retained earnings beginning and ending numbers. You had to actually had to solve for that. So this is a little more challenging. Honestly, this is probably as tough as it gets in this, in this uh, class. Sometimes we will ask you to determine expenses and we've given you revenues, but that's how it works and I hope it helps. Aloha!